So what I've got for you is a new book. This is it, my new book, right? And what I'm going to do is read you some stuff from it. And I'm going to try and post this on the internet. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, look at me. I am old. If I succeed in all of this, it's amazing, right? <laughs> anyway, from this book, I'll start from the beginning. I'll read a few pieces and then I'll switch this off and see if I can post it. My name's Nick Totchek. I'm a writer and performer. And uh, here we go, right? Responsibilities. Our kids, who've grown and flown the nest, now only phone us to request more cash on loan, their tone depressed. We're shown their debts. We've known, we've guessed. They own mere pence. They've blown the rest. We're stony broke, they drone distressed. They moan, we groan but reinvest in those who've grown and flown the nest. Our blood and bone, our own, our best. That's a poem that earned me loads of money because it got used in an advert on telly. How to make money out of poetry, hey? <laughs> anyway, here's a second one. I do a children's festival in Appledore every year. Appledore's down in uh, the south of England. I'm from the north. I'm from Yorkshire, right? And Appledore's down in Devon. There are various apple doors, but the one that I go to is in Devon. Except one time when my sat nav took me to another apple door, which is why I know there's various apple doors, right? <laughs> anyway, there's a graveyard there with lots and lots of graves of people who have drowned because apple door is and has for generations been. Uh, a fishing port. Here's the poem. St Mary's Graveyard, Appledore. Lifted from the water, lain below the ground, long lie the many men lured from land and drowned. Birdsong lulls my footfall they hear neither sound. Flesh and cares have fled from dull bones, bared and browned. Silent strands, like seaweed, wrap them round and round. Tides of time now trap them near where waves still pound. These the seas that left them, lifeless, lost, then found, borne ashore by mourners, stored where we're all bound. The graveyard. Okay, so let's do another poem. Watching this city by night. I'm going to do two more poems and then leave it. I'll post some more sometime later if this thing works. Okay. <laughs> I was staying uh, in the Netherlands in The Hague in a hotel. I was working as a writer in schools in the Netherlands and this hotel in The Hague um, I was the only person staying there and uh, uh, I, uh, late at night I asked for some food in the bar because uh, the restaurant had closed and 
they made me some food and the guy who made it was leaving and I was left with this food in a totally empty hotel weird I was the only person in the entire building and I sat eating my food and the guy had said I'm going just leave your plate there when you're finished so I was eating this food and uh, the hotel was soundproofed because there's a street just outside and there was stuff going on in the street um, like traffic going past and that sort of thing and uh, I couldn't hear it because it was soundproofed so I was like watching this in incredible um, totally silent film outside watching this city by night The Hague, the Netherlands the thin skins ripple on puddles as if disturbed by ghosts of this we're lamp watched under winter gusts which fuss about like hosts of this see silhouettes on bicycles slide past the signs and posts of this with oceanic skies above those rooftops shape the coasts of this and every car which whispers past testifies and boasts of this and here's your last poem these are short stay listening if you like this like like if it, if i post it up and 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 you know it's there on on whatever i post it up on I'll try to post it up on YouTube or, or my website or, or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm really crap at this technology, so it might not happen. But, but if it's up there, if you like it, please post a response or share it or whatever you get offered a chance to do with it, OK? You'll give me confidence. And uh, with this pandemic going on at the moment and everybody stuck in the house as I am, because I'm old and I, I have a cancer it's low level but I have a cancer prostate cancer and I have asthma so uh, I doubly have to take care of myself uh, I, I, might, I might not look it <laughs> but I, I, I'm actually 70 in September right that's, that's some age you know and, and people of my age die from this bastard pandemic so um uh, you know, just 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 feel like like it'd be nice to 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 post something uh, if you've watched this, uh, or 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 just to tell me that that I'm okay. <laughs> anyway, here you are. Here's the last poem. Listen, I love life. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go. This bastard pandemic is not going to get me or you. Or you, we're gonna we're we're gonna survive this. Let's meet up for a drink after, mate. Let's meet up for a drink after, okay? <laughs> this is called here. Here is simply where we live and love and labour and forgive. And fret about the food we eat, cholesterol and dodgy meat, and keep in touch by telephone, and rent or mortgage brick or stone for the ownership of property and, and mow our lawns and polish cars and order pints in public bars and suffer fools and seldom cheat and nod to neighbours in the street and struggle with the weekly wash and vainly hope to win some dosh on the bingo or the lottery this England, where we simply live till dropped as dust through death's dark sieve. Good note to end on, although I'm going to survive, like I said.
and so will you, and so will all of yours, I truly, truly hope, and all of mine too. Love you. Cheers. <laughs>